Okay, I want to talk about the difference between height and line height in CSS. So I've got uh, a page here with three paragraphs. I've gotten rid of all the padding and all the margin around them, so the border that I've added to them is right up against the edge of the text. So we have three lines inside of here. Now I can come in and I'm going to set the font size on each paragraph to 20 pixels, just to make this a nice round number to work with. So the height of this font is 20 pixels. Now if I set the height of the paragraph to be 60 pixels, this is 60 pixels here, and I've got 20 pixels for each one of these fonts. Fonts are spilling out a little bit. If I change the font family, let's say I go to Arial, becomes that. If I go to Verdana, does this. So we get different effects depending on which font that we're using. And that's because fonts have different sizes. You can set the font size to get a good approximation, but the amount of space that it's going to take up is going to vary. Now I'm going to get rid of the height on each of the paragraphs, and let's create a margin between each of them. So the margin will set it to 10px. So left, right, top, and bottom, 10px. So now I've got 10 pixels between each one of the paragraphs. Actually, let's bump it up to 20 pixels. There we go. Make some space in between here. The line height. Inside each paragraph, there are several lines of text. The line height talks about how much space is allotted to each line of text. Now this doesn't just work in paragraphs, it works in headings and every element. You're talking about how much space is going to be provided for the text. Let's set the uh, background color to gold just to have something that we can see. And then my line height, I'm going to set it to 20 pixels. Oops. Pixels, there we go. So there's 20 pixels allotted and the height of the text is 20 pixels. If I change this line height to 40 pixels, you'll see I'm creating a whole bunch of space. When I click in here and highlight the line, the space that I'm highlighting here, that's the 40 pixels. That is the amount of space allotted by line height. If I bump that up to 60 pixels, you can see this height right here grows. It's not the total height. If I set height, I'm talking about the entire element here. This is completely detached from whatever height you set on the element. If I set it down to 10, the text starts to overlap. I can set the line height to 5. The text is really now piled right on top of each other. Go up to 10. I can still come in and say, hey, you know what? The height of my paragraph is 80 pixels. So there's 80 pixels total, but each of the individual lines, these two numbers are not required to add up to the same thing at all. Line height is simply the amount of space that's given for the background color, for the font to be rendered. Okay. Um, so we've got height, line height. This applies to all elements. If I go into my H1, set the background color on that to, let's go for Azure. Yeah, that's kind of faint. Let's go for a green yellow. There we are. Font size. I'm going to use a different unit. I'm going to use REMs. Uh, this is root EMs. On the body element, I'm going to set a, um, or actually on the HTML, the root element of the page, I'm going to set the font size to 20px. And in here, if I use one REM, that's 20, pe 20 pixels. So the R root goes to the root element, which is the HTML element, and then one EM, well, 20 pixels is the one EM measurement. So 2 REM would be 40, 3 would be 60. The line height can be 
any number at all that I want in pixels, in REMs, in percentages, or just a number, a multiplier. If I said 2, it's going to be 6 REM. It's double whatever the font size is. If I just put a number here, no unit. So this is 6 REMs right now. If I type in 6 REM, it's the same as just writing 2. If I shrink this down to something less than 3, there we are. The text is actually starting to stick out at the top. If I go down to 1.5, there we are. Now it's sticking out the top and bottom. If we have um, characters that have descenders, like the letter J comes down below the line. If you've got letters that go up above, um, like an I, see the dots are above. This is the descender. Ascenders, letters that have um, like a T is sticking up a little bit. Uh, F sticks up above. So this is the ascender. This is the descender. So line height is the amount of space that's given. And if your line height is really small, if it's smaller than your font size, then the text is going to overlap. Now, I don't recommend ever doing that in the body text. You may want to do it sometimes in a heading if you want to get some sort of uh, decorative effect. You can do that by having a line height that's smaller than your font size. But a good factor to use, somewhere in the 1.4 to 1.6. You can go up to 2. You can go down as small as 1.2. But somewhere around 1.5, 1.6, that's your best target area for most cases. So there we go. Line height 1.6. Let's do my font size in 1 REM. So I've got 1 REM is my font size. My line height is 1.6 times that, which is 1.6 REMs. I have three lines of text here, actually four lines of text. This one's got three lines, four. This one's got three. So let's set as a minimum height on my paragraphs, four lines times 1.6, 6.4 REM, that's our minimum height. So four lines of text, that's our minimum height. There we go. So um, I don't have padding or other things to keep the text away from the edge from the border, but that's how line height and height are connected, or rather not connected. The height is for the entire element. The line height is just the amount of space provided for the text. And the two numbers are not connected. All right, hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.